Hi, I'm Mara Castro. I am a development director at the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, and I have come to work with the foundation because I have a child who is eight years old with cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis okay. is a genetic disorder that affects the lungs, pancreas, and other organs. There's currently only about 40,000 people in the United States that have CF. They call it the invisible disease because not very many people know from first sight. With this disease, you'll find a lot of people have have issues with their lungs, have issues breathing, can't gain weight because their body can't absorb all the food correctly. In order to have cystic fibrosis, the parents have to be carriers of the gene. Then you have a 25% chance that your child will also have it. So the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation is actually just one of the coolest foundations I've ever heard of. And I wasn't truly informed until I started working for them. You know, I go to a CF care center here at Joe DiMaggio and they've always been my information center. I never knew, but the CF Foundation actually is the one that funds the care centers. So all the information that I have been receiving the last eight years is actually coming directly from them. I had always thought that they were just working on the research and development of drugs and different therapies. So I didn't really know that they had so many different components that actually support families. The care center we see every three months. The care center is who we go to for all of our questions, all of our medications, all of the information that we get from them is actually housed on the CF Foundation website too. For every CF story is different. So we continue to learn as these families introduce themselves to us. In the last two years, he has been just thriving due to the new medication that the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation is actually responsible for. So they, um, with all of their research that they did in their own facilities, they were able to develop something called Trikafta. Ever since he has been on Trikafta, we have not had a hospital visit. He stopped coughing in the middle of the night after taking that medication for 10 days. He has coughed every single night since he was a baby. And we literally had to go in and check on him because I was like, it is too quiet in there. And it, it really truly is the closest thing to a cure. The foundation is still, you know, steadily trying to do all of the things that raise these funds to be able to one day find a cure. Like they want CF to stat stand for cure found, which I think is just, it's the best thing ever to think of as, you know, a family who gets this new drug, but also knows that they're not going to stop there. So Great Strides is the walk program that uh, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation does where, you know, all of the different communities can come out and raise awareness, but then also bring donations and all the money that we raise really does go straight to the foundation. Current life expectancy of a baby born with CF today is 53. Um, that's 15 years more than if you were to, you know, see that a decade ago. Today, with all of the advancements and all of the research and all of the new drugs that are around, I'm letting my life kind of guide what those years are, right? I'm, I'm going to let yeah. myself be like the anomaly and say like my child is going to live until he's 90 years old, right? So that's, yeah. that's kind of how we live here. <laughs> I would just say to, you know, do everything that you can to be preventative so that things don't build up, but let them live, you know, their strong, healthy lives.